In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the fingerprint reader on a Dell G series laptop. Now, not every single Dell G series laptop will have a fingerprint reader, but if yours does, it's quite a simple process to set up. Before you begin, you will need a Windows account. That's basically the account that you use to sign in when your PC starts. If you haven't got the Windows account, you can do this in the next step. So what we need to do is click on the Windows icon in the bottom left hand corner to bring up the menu. Click on that, then click on the little gear icon, which is settings. Then from the menu, click on accounts. And if you haven't got a Windows account that you use to sign into your PC, you can do it from this page. Just enter an email address and a password and enter the pin and other details, and you should be good to go. If you've already done that, which you probably have, click on the sign in options from the left hand side menu. And then from there, if you have a fingerprint reader, you should see the Windows Hello fingerprint. So click on that. So setting up the first time, click, simply um, click on setup. And then follow the instructions on the screen. So click get started. Then enter your pin if it asks you one. Then it gives you instructions such as to touch the fingerprint reader. So just follow the instructions on the screen. So I'm going to touch the fingerprint reader now. So you've got to keep touching and lifting your finger, touch and lift. So then once you've done that, it tells you to try a slightly different angle. So this again, just twist your finger slightly and follow the instructions again. So again, just keep touching and releasing, touch and release. So that's it. So you have to do two separate um, stages, just touch it from a certain position and then slightly a different angle. So that's it. So once that's done, you can close that. And now every time your PC starts, rather than enter a password, simply touch the fingerprint reader and it should log you in automatically. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.